All right, good evening, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Springfield Hoops. I'm Chris Stone alongside Nick O'Dell. Tonight, we got a Springfield rivalry tonight. It's the Cathedral Panthers taking on the Central Golden Eagles. Uh, Cathedral at home tonight. We are at the Rebecca Johnson Gymnasium tonight. And uh, these two teams have a history from last year, Nick. I believe it was one within the last minute. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, sure. Uh, so 10 seconds left from the last year's game was at Central Central High School. Uh, Cathedral nailed a three to uh, put, put them up. And uh, Central Central had a uh, had a chance at the very end to tie it or win it, and uh, they couldn't convert. So let's see what happens in this edition, Chris. It should be... Uh, should it be, should be it should be a good one as both teams are ready to be ready to go. Definitely central in the black and gold, cathedral in the white and purple. So here we go. We are underway, and central wins the tip, and Pres Josh Presley takes it up the court for central. He is guarded closely by Brian Callamore. Gets it to McCray inside to Terrell Morris. Back out to Tyrone Brantley to Presley. Back to Brantley. To McCray, Brian McCray, all the way out to Presley. Good, great ball movement here shown by Central. And Tyshawn Williams with the, with the layup, not good. Rebounded by Cathedral, almost starting over there. And number 20, that would be Anthony Reynolds with the basket. Reynolds, 6'4", he's a forward and he's also a junior. So a good start there for Cathedral. Let's see if Central can respond here, but, but Central turns it over. It's Cathedral's ball now. As Cathedral retains possession, it's Collarmore to Martinez. And Reynolds misfires on the three, rebounded by Central. It's Presley down the court in a hurry. And McCray misfires on a three, rebounded by Cathedral. So Collimore brings the ball up the court for Cathedral, already, already up 2-0 in this early going. Back to Collimore. Inside and outside of Martinez, who takes a three and misses, rebounded by McCray for Central, Brian McCray. Gets it to Brantley. Brantley inside to Williams. Williams with the putback to Purdue. Tied up at two now, six minutes left to go in the first quarter. As Martinez has it near the corner, back out to Collinmore. All the way around to Reynolds, and to try to get inside to Callahan, but couldn't. Great defense in the paint for Central. As Presley goes up and in for two. So Josh Presley puts Central up by two with 5.40 to go in the first quarter. Collimore to Reynolds, inside to Callahan. Look, nice pass inside to Callahan, but he draws the foul. Yeah, Will, uh, Tyshawn Williams got his hands on him. So Brian Callahan will go to the line to shoot two. Makes the first. Callahan about to attempt the second. Makes a second, two of two. Game tied at four with five and a half remaining in the first quarter. Comes out to, to uh, Presley, back to McCray. Cathedral showing a little bit of full court press on here, but Central able to break. And Presley throws it away, it'll be Cathedral ball. Collinmore to inbound to Richard Forster. Forster has it back to Collinmore. Collinmore to Forster again. Back to Collinmore. Collinmore going to his left, finds Callahan back to Collinmore. Collinmore with a deep three ball. That misfires. Rebound goes to Central. Here comes Brantley up the court in a hurry. Brantley, nice crossover move. Gets out to McCray. McCray for the long two, that's no good. Rebounded by Callahan. 
There's Cathedral. Here comes Forster down the corner. Hurry. He's out to Collimore. Back to Forster. Cathedral resets. Forster has it. Back to Collimore. Central playing amazing defense right now. Forster has it. Forster for three. Long three. That's no good. Rebound by Central. Here comes Presley down the court in a hurry. Cathedral not afraid to shoot from outside the perimeter, but so far they haven't been able, they haven't been successful for it. As Brian McCray picks up the personal, Cathedral will inbound it right now. Collinmore to bring the ball to the court for Cathedral. Inside to Callahan, and Callahan couldn't, 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 couldn't get a hold of the ball. So he sent his ball. As Brantley inside to Williams, Tyshawn Williams, that's no good. All the way back on McCray, McCray for three. That's no good. We've got to back Cathedral. And turnover. Fight for the ball here near midcourt. Eventually called a jump. It will be Cathedral's ball. As Kenneth Stahovich comes in the ball game for Central. McCray takes a seat for the Golden Eagles. Collmore has it to Forster. Back to Collmore. Collmore tries to get inside of Callahan, does. And Callahan buries the mid-range jumper. Big man Callahan for the two. <laughs> and uh, with that, Cathedral's up 6-4 with 3.09 remaining in the first quarter, but however, Central's threatening. Here comes Williams down low and makes the two. Back up to a tied ball game. Under three minutes to go in the first quarter. Collmore to. Back to Collmore. And Collmore travels. So central to inbound. That's Tyshawn Williams then down to Presley. Presley to McCray. McCray guarded closely by Forster. McCray to Presley. Presley out here, mid court, gets it to McCray. McCray travels in, puts it up, and no good. Rebound, however, goes to number 22. That would be Toro Morris. He misfires on that jump, rebounded by Cathedral. Here comes Calmer down the court. Forster with the long three. That's no good. Rebounded by Presley and Central. Presley drives in and puts it up, but draws a foul. Got his shoulder in there. Yeah, as Brian Callahan picks up the personal, but Presley's at the line to shoot two. Presley's a sophomore, he's 5'11". Makes the first. Line shooting one more. This is the second. Rebound goes to Cathedral. And number 21 brings it up for Cathedral. And gets it to Mar Jacob Martinez. Oh, Has denied. Denied on down low. But it looks like Tyson. Or looks like uh, central inbound here. Jacob Martinez going in for the, the layup, but he was denied by the central's D. Presley started closely by Forster. That's to McCray. McCray. 
gets it to Presley. Presley up and no good. Garrett is a rebound and that's no good. Rebounded by Cathedral. Number 21 brings it up for the Panthers. Gets to Forster. Inside to Callahan. Callahan with a nice fadeaway mid range jumper to go. Just like that, Cathedral's up by one. With 116 to go in the first quarter. As Forster picks up the personal. Both teams are at two fouls. Tyrone Brinley to inbound to Presley. Presley guarded closely by Forster. Gets to Brantley inside to Tyshawn Williams and ball goes out of bounds. It'll be still be central ball. Press lead in down to Central. Gets all the way out to McCray, has it almost turned over. And now it does have it turned over. Jacob Martinez with the steal. Gets it to number 21. Back to Callahan. Back to Martinez. Martinez inside. Is it up and in. And the foul. go to the line and try to make it a three-point play here. Tyrone Brantley picks up the personal for Central. <laughs> so, making Jacob. Up, make, Jacob Martinez making up for that last shot where he was blocked. Goes to the line to shoot one more. Makes the, makes the free throw to complete the three-point play. As Cathedral showing some full court press here. McCray has it, trying to get the ball before in a hurry, he does. Presley inside. Has it not off the backboard, rebound goes to Central. McCray for two, that's no good. Rebound goes to Cathedral. 22 seconds left in this first quarter. Number 21 for Cathedral has it. Gets to Martinez. Back to 21. And 21 inside to inside to uh, Reynolds, who puts it up and in for two. And that marks the end of the first quarter with our score. Cathedral 13, Central 7. We'll be back right after this. Stay with us. And we are back here at Rebecca Johnson Middle School. We're at Central against Cathedral. Cathedral's up 13 to seven. You're watching Springfield Hoops on Focus Springfield TV. Nick Odell alongside Chris Stone with our camera guy, Jose. Our sideline camera, Clint, providing all our camera work. Central to inbound right now. Gets it to Tar Tariq Green, who checks into the ball game for Central. Back to Stahovich. Tries to get it inside to Morris, but throws it out of, well, couldn't he handle it, goes out of bounds with this cathedral ball. Colin to take it up the court for Cathedral. Gets to Martinez, to Forrester, inside to Callahan. And Callahan draws the foul. As Terrell Morris picks up the personal for the feed, or for, I should say, Central. Reynolds will inbound the pass. Reynolds to Collimore. To Callahan inside, and Reynolds tries to get it out to Martinez, but has it stripped by Green. Green to all the way out to Stahovich. Ken Stahovich inside, gets it up and in for two. Nobody there to protect the lane there, Nick. Indeed, and uh, Cathedral's lead is cut to four, 13 to nine. Collimore has it to Reynolds. Reynolds drives in, puts it up, and good for two. 15-9, yeah. Cathedral has the lead. As Green has it, guarded closely by Forster. 
inside to Morris, who puts him up and in for two. Morris is a senior, he's 6'4", finally he gets, gets some action here, he's been quiet. As Callahan to Martinez, Martinez for the long two, that's no good. Callahan with the rebound, putback attempt, that was no good. Rebound goes to Central. Here comes Stahovic inside. As, as he puts it up, Morris travels. So, Cathedral will inbound on the other end. Substitution's made right now. As Collinmore inbounds to 21 for Cathedral. Yeah, number's not on the roster. Back to Collinmore. To 15, that'll be Jack McKay. Back to Collinmore. Collinmore with the long three. That's no good. He airballs it. Rebounded by number 33 for Central. Aaron, Aaron Williams. Aaron Williams with the uh, two pointer there. Just like that, Central's only down by two now. Williams. 15 13. Cathedral. Williams, the Central High School quarterback. For the 20, football. Yep. 21 has it. Inside Callahan. Back out to Collimore. Collimore dribbles in a little bit. Gets to Callahan. Callahan back out to Collimore. Collimore 21. Great, great defense by Central as three, three seconds left on the shot clock. And Jack Moke draws the foul. Moke. Moke. Yeah, Moke. Yeah, Moke. Goes the line to shoot two. This is the first substitutions now. Forster checks back in the game for Cathedral. Jacob Martinez takes a seat for the Panthers. Moke makes a second. One of two. Cathedral showing a little bit of defense right now. 33 dribbles in and no good. Rebound, rebound by Callahan for Cathedral, so Cathedral brings it up the court. Collinmore does. Central showing a 3 2 zone as 21 has it back out to Collinmore. Tries to get inside to Callahan, doesn't, but Forster comes up with it. Richard Forster to Collinmore. Back to Forster. Forster with the long three-pointer attempt. As shot clock violation, it'll be Central's ball. As Central brings the ball to the court, Cathedral from the full court press. Central able to break it, so here's Stahovic. Stahovic to number 33. He throws it away, so it'll be Cathedral's ball. So Cathedral to inbound. 16-13 is our score in favor of Cathedral. 4-20 remaining in the half. Palmer has it to Forster. Forster with the three, yes. Count it. So Forster with the three, puts it up by six, 19-13. Cathedral still showing a little bit of press right now, but Central has a break, jumps the Hovich down the court. And has it blocked, it'll be Cathedral ball. Another turnover. Another turnover will be Central's ball. Milan Harrison to inbound it for Central as substitutions are made. Cathedral still showing the press 
as Stahovich gets it across mid-court. Cathedral playing good defense as Trip Green has it for Central, gets it to Stahovich. Has Stahovich inside to Williams who travels and it'll be Cathedral Ball. Setting up the play. Gets to Collinmore. Collinmore for three. Yes. Cathedral two for two on their last threes. And both those three pointers they had to stop play for to get the net off the rim. Just to hope we should take the ball up the court for the central. Kick balls called, it'll still be still be central ball. Most green will inbound it for central. Gets it to, tries to get it to Williams, but has a strip and stolen by 21. They're down the court, they go in a hurry. Forster for three, no good. Rebound goes the other way. Central to inbound right now. Cathedral has a nine point lead, 22 13. Well, that full court press for Cathedral is certainly working out for him right now. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely working out. As Central is struggling to get a shot off or something like that. Now, this turnover here will be, will be Cathedral ball. to bring it up to, to 21. All the way over to Reynolds, but too high for him. It goes out of bounds. That left corner, Cathedral's really liking that spot. It's essential to inbound. As Stahovich will bring the ball to the court for the Golden Eagles. Back to Green. Tariq Green to Stahovich. Stahovich for three. No good. Rebound goes to Reynolds. Back to 21. Up the court in a hurry. Reynolds inside to Callahan. Callahan to Collimore. Collimore for three. That's no good. He airballs it. Good effort by Collimore. As Collinmore picks up the personal. Brailing to inbound to Green. Green to Harrison. Callahan strips it. Callahan strips it and fighting for the ball down low. And timeout's called by Cathedral. It's a good timeout there to keep possession. 145 to go left in the half. Cathedral's up 22-13. Well, Coach D'Alessio's got to be pretty happy for uh, Cathedral right now with his team. Definitely keeping the pressure on. That's definitely going to keep forcing turnovers and uh, giving them more opportunities to uh, score. Yeah, not too many fouls in the game so Not too many far. fouls indeed as uh, team fouls are in favor of Central. Central has five team fouls as opposed to Cathedral's three. 145 left in the half. <laughs> Coming out of the timeout will be Cathedral's ball. 
It will invalidate it at the other end. We will right to left on your television screen. Forster to bring the ball to court. Up to 21. And 21 to Forrester. Let's shoot to 21. Central's D is doing pretty good so far here. Back to Jacob Martinez. To 21. To Central's Aaron Williams, who picks up the ball of the steal. Brantley got a piece of that. As Harrison, Harrison misfires on the layup. However, another turnover here as Central gets oh. possession, but that's the second uh, second pick from uh, Brantley on Central, but now they just throw it away. As Peters brings it all ball before we got 53 seconds left to go in the half. Back and forth they go, 21 and Forster, but finally, finally tries to get inside to Reynolds, but couldn't. Central turns it over. Third turnover by Cathedral in a row. To Aaron Williams, back to Green, who takes a three and misses it. Rebound goes to Tyshawn Williams, puts it back in for two. Central down by seven. Inside of Callahan. He's back out, gets to Forster. Forster just holding it for the last shot. As 21 misfires on the three, and that will do it for the first half of play here at Rebecca Johnson Middle School. Our score is Cathedral 22, Central 15. We'll be back in about 10 minutes or so for the second half right after this. Stay with us. And we are back here on back, back here at Springfield Hoops on Focus Springfield TV. Nick O'Dell alongside Chris Stone, Jose behind the camera, and Clint on the sideline camera. Right now, Cathedral has a 22-15 lead at the start of the second half. Well, you know, Nick, I think the story so far is uh, Cathedral's taken a couple more uh, three-point shots that have gotten in. So, uh, down by seven. I'm sorry, Central's down by seven, but it's not over yet. Yeah, still very tight ball game here as Cathedral inbound to start the second half. Gets inside to Callahan. Back out to Martinez. Martinez, shots no good, rebounded by Central. Sends down the court in a hurry, but Brantley will draw the foul here as Central will inbound it. Presley to inbound. Gets it to Williams back to Presley. Pressing guard closely by Forster for Cathedral. The defense by Forster. And Central turns it over, it'll be Cathedral's ball. And Collimore will inbound it. To Forster, and Forster will bring the ball to court. Collimore. To Martinez in the corner. Martinez. Shot is no good denied, but rebound goes to Martinez. Put, put back attempt is no good, and Central has it. Morris gets the rebound, but originally blocked by Williams. Williams gets the, tries to put it up for two. Williams will go to the line to shoot two now as Reynolds picks up the personal for Cathedral. Williams makes the first free throw attempt. This is the second. Reynolds grabs the rebound for the Cathedral. And gets all the way out to Forster. Side to Callahan. To Martinez. Martinez has a strip taken away by 
McCray. Presley has it now. And it will still stay central ball. The defense by Forster again, putting the pressure on Central. Man-to-man oh, -man coverage. 6.50 left to go in the third quarter. 22-16, Cathedral. As Brantley dribbles inside, puts it up, and oh, no good. Rooms in now, but rebound goes to Brantley. Puts it up. And he is from mid-range for two. More to Martinez. He's just threatening now. Martinez having no help there. As the timeout is called by Cathedral with 6.19 to go in the third. So Central down by four with 6.19 left to go in the third quarter. For those of you just joining us, we'd like to thank you for watching Springfield Hoops on Focus Springfield Community Television. Timeout expires. Coming out of the timeout, it will be Cathedral's ball. Cathedral inbound right in front of their own bench as Forster will inbound it to Looks like Collin Collin Moore. Moore, yep. 21 has it to Forster in the corner, back up to 21. Dribbles a little bit, finds Callahan to Collarmore. Three on the shot clock, they need to get a shot off, and they do. It is Forster with no good, but Reynolds with the putback up and in for two. So that puts Cathedral up by six, 24 18. McCray has it now for Central. McCray for three, that's no good. Rebound goes out of bounds. It'll be Cathedral's ball. Forrester to 21. Inside to Callahan. It puts it up and in for two. He has the. Uh, has a nice touch from mid range and. Just like that, Cathedral's up by eight. Yeah, big man Callahan making it look easy. As looks like Presley drew the foul there. And they will inbound it from their own bench. Presley to inbound to Morris. That's impressive. Potential win down again here. Brailing to Presley on the inbound. Presley will set it up. Back to Brantley. Brantley with the long three-point attempt. That's no good. Rebound goes to Morris and puts it up and in for two. Second effort by Morris proves to be effective. Paul Moore brings the ball to first. Gets it to 21. Central playing tough D on 21 as he goes in and gets taken away from Central down to the other end. McCray up and in for two. Tell you, McCray and Morris are on, on the same page right now. Central's only down by four now. As yeah! Callahan gets 
ball for the offensive. So this may be a turn of events here for in favor of Central now. As Central breaks the press, inside to Morris, he puts it up and in for two. Morris, back-to-back -back buckets, they're down by two, so Central making a rally here. Reynolds has it. Inside, gets it up and in for two. Anthony Reynolds. Reynolds using his size on that, 6-4. As Presley has it, Presley up. And good. Central back down by two. Momentum has definitely shifted to Central. Indeed, as Collinwell wide open for three. No good. Rebound to Central, but Steve stones it. And Forster up and in for two. So both teams trading buckets here as Brantley brings the ball down with Joseph Central. Back to Presley. Approaching three minutes to go in the third quarter as Tyshawn Williams misses the layup. Rebound to Collimore and Cathedral. Collimore up and in for good for two. Quick drive by Collimore. And Brantley will. Brantley down the court in a hurry. He puts it up and in for two. So back and forth they go, Chris. Yeah, quick offense, quick shooting here. Quick shots on both teams. As 21. Uh, Callahan provided the pick and roll there. Collimore for three. three. That's no good. Rebound goes to or Central. As Brantley brings the ball up the court in a hurry. He dribbles the ball in and no good. Brantley thought he had that one. Oh. That's a Hail Mary pass all the way down to the rim for the Reynolds and puts it in for two. Timeout is called by Central. With 2.15 to go in the third quarter. Cathedral's up 34-28. Cathedral getting a little more cushion now after uh, the game was as close as what, four points? Actually, I think two points at one point. Yeah. Cathedral has five team fouls as opposed to Central's none. Pace has certainly picked up in the last couple minutes. Indeed. Those of you just joining, we'd like to welcome you to Springfield Hoops on Focus Springfield Community Television. I'm Chris Stone alongside Nick O'Dell, Jose behind the camera lens, and also Clint on the sidelines getting some close ups for us. Very nice crew we have tonight. Yeah. Uh, Central will inbound it as Presley almost loses it but regains possession. Presley up the court in a hurry. He's going to try to take it all the way himself and puts it up and in for two. Cathedral just meltdown on defense on that. And Cathedral has a chance to get a basket back here. Forster. Out to Martinez, to Callahan. Callahan travels. Oh boy. Yeah, you don't want those turnovers at this point in the game. So Tyshawn Williams will inbound it to Milan Harrison, in fact, to Presley. Harrison checks in the game for Central. As Presley didn't get the bucket, but draws the foul. So Presley will go to the line to shoot two. 142 left in the third third quarter. Huh? Covering hockey and basketball, it throws you <laughs> off. It does. <laughs> Makes the first.
Presley makes a second. And after that, Central's now only down by two now, with 1.42 remaining in the third quarter. Central showing some full court press here, but he's able to break it. As Forster has it, and Harrison gets called for the personal. Anthony Reynolds checks back in to the ball game. Collimore takes a seat. Martinez has it. Back up to Callahan. That should point. be a two. His foot was on the line. Let's see. And, yep. and it is a two. So the feed will back up to a four point lead. Harrison tries for the three point attempt. That's no good. Rebound goes in favor of Cathedral. Forster down, Forster has the ball, but has it stripped by Harrison. Harrison up and good for two. Allowed, good defense a, by Harrison. A loud two-pointer there by Harrison. Putting the pressure on, gets his hand in there. Now it's Central's ball again. And Reynolds travels. Central has the ball now. Cathedral having problems tra uh, with traveling calls this quarter. Aaron Williams inbounds it to Presley. Under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Presley to McCray, back to Presley. Presley for three, no good. Rebound goes to Collimore. Brian Collimore, bring the ball to court. Collimore, inside to Reynolds, puts it up and in for two. He just back up by four. That's Harrison, inside to Williams, back out to McCray, ditches it to Presley. Presley up and no good, rebound goes to Reynolds. Reynolds all the way down, four to Martinez. Martinez, he puts it up and in for two. Nice Hail Mary pass there. Uh, Central didn't get a shot off there. So that marks the end of the third quarter with our score. Cathedral 40, Central 34. We'll be back with the fourth quarter right after this. Stay with us. And we are back here on Springfield Hoops on Focus Springfield TV, Nick O'Dell. Alongside Chris Stone, Jose behind the camera, Clint doing sideline work. We are Rebecca Johnson Middle School for this final quarter of play between Central and Cathedral. Right now, Cathedral has a 40 to 34 lead, and Central will inbound to Presley. Back to Harrison. Cathedral back up to six points. And Central gets called for the travel just like that. Well, Cathedral had a few traveling calls before, so. Definitely has. Palmer inbounds to. Martinez and back to Collimore. Collimore inside to Callahan. Yeah. Yeah. Get him. Get him. Reynolds gets called for the foul. So it'll be Central's ball. Not sure, not sure where I saw the foul there. Yeah, definitely. As Presley has it now. Cathedral showing a little bit of press and Central breaks it. As Presley has it. Presley for the long two, that doesn't bite. Rebound stays Central. Presley will win down to McCray. McCray dribbles in, puts it up, and no good. Rebounded by, rebounded by Reynolds. Palmore has it, gets all the way down to Martinez. Martinez will travel. Get him. Another traveling call, this, this time on Cathedral. 7.15 left in the game. As Aaron Williams inbound to Presley to Milan Harrison. 
Back to Presley. Presley will find Harrison. And finds A. Williams. Back to Presley. Presley to Brantley in the corner. Back to Presley. He's just showing some nice deep, but Sanders doing good ball movement. As Presley for the long three, that's no good. Rebound goes to Cathedral. As Colin Moore brings the ball up the court. Colin Moore loses the ball in traffic. Looks like Aaron Williams. Aaron Williams picked up the personal there for Sanchez, so Colin Moore makes the first three, first of two free throw attempts. Let's go, Sancho. And Colin Moore makes the second. 6.34 left to go in the game. He dropped by eight as Harrison didn't, didn't get the bucket. So Cathedral's threatening. Callan gets inside to Reynolds. Reynolds to Forrester. Martinez loses it, but it'll be, still be Cathedral ball. So Cathedral inbound and Reynolds to inbound. To Callahan, inside to Reynolds. Reynolds will travel. Another traveling another, call. Another travel for Cathedral here. As Williams went down to Presley. Central to bring the ball before with six minutes to go in this game. Morris has it now. Morris inside. Gets the, doesn't get the bucket, so Cathedral will rebound and bring the ball before. Palmer inside to Callahan. Oh, yeah. And Morris denies him with a big rejection. Yep. And, and Central will, re, will, take, will take the possession. Morris 6'4 and uh, Callahan 6'5. That's the tail of the tape between the big men. Yeah. As Presley has it. Presley dribbles in, kicks back out to Brantley. Brantley inside to Morris, back up to Brantley. Brantley for three. That's no good. Rebounded by Morris. Brantley to Harrison. Harrison for three. That's no good. Rebounded by Colin Moore. Colin Moore loses it. And it looks like Some confusion here as the rest are talking it over here. Yeah, debating whether Collimore had possession on the floor. So Central will get the ball. Central retain possession here as Central coach was all fired up. He was like close to close to the three-point line on Central's. Brantley to inbound to Presley. Back to Brantley. Back to Presley. Cathedral playing some very tight D. Harrison inside. And Harrison picks up the offensive.
as Reynolds went down to Collinmore for Cathedral. 4.48 to go in the game. Cathedral still holds an eight point lead. Callahan inside, gets the strip. Inside to Reynolds. And no touch, he can't do that with it. Reynolds will draw the foul. And Reynolds will line to shoot two. Reynolds has been somewhat quiet this quarter. Extend the lead to six here, see if he can make it seven. Reynolds to try, to try to make the seven point game. And he does. As Harrison brings off the court. Cedro showing some full court press. Central breaks it. Morris up no good. Rebound by Morris again. He puts the, puts the clip back up and in. Cathedral throws it away. Collimore couldn't handle that pass. This could be big here for Cathedral on that turnover. Central, Central now has an opportunity to make this a one possession game. As Central turns the ball right back over to Cathedral. As Cathedral takes a timeout here. 3.27 left to go in the game. Cathedral up by 5, 44 39.
Well, keys at this point are turnovers. If uh, you now lately it's been uh, this half, it's been traveling calls. Yep. In the beginning of the quarter, uh, beginning of the quarter, both teams were going back and forth, but uh, that since that has since slowed down in, in Cathedral's favor. favor. 327 left in the, in the game. So after the timeout, Cathedral will inbound. Will inbound in between the benches here. Palmer inbound for Cathedral. To Reynolds. Reynolds to number 21 for Cathedral. Central showing some excellent D here. Forster for three. That's good. Cathedral up by eight here. Big three by Forster. Brantley back to Harrison. Harrison to Brantley. Brantley for three. That's no good. Harrison. So we'll stay central ball. Another timeout. Another timeout called here. So, 254 remaining in the game. Cathedral's up by 8, 47 39. I'll tell you, it's been a long three minutes. It's going to be a lot. Well, <laughs> quarter's definitely slowed down a little. Yep. Central will inbound the ball. Trey inside. And we'll reset. And turnover here. Kiesel has it. As the Trey fouls. Callahan blocks that inbound pass for Cathedral. Yeah, it's a great defense shown by Cathedral. All this, you know, in fact, all of this game, Chris. Yeah, you know, the full court press, mainly because of that, but getting rebounds, they've done it all. Central had a chance to tie this game at one point. Yep, as Reynolds in, inbounds it to all the way to Callahan, back to Forster. Forster guard closely by McCray. Forster up and good for two. Wow, that's a deep floater from yeah. mid-range. Looking Cathedral. a little like Rajan Rondo. <laughs> Cathedral's <laughs> up by 10 now. Probably the largest lead of the ball game as Morris will travel. Well, Cathedral takes a 10-point lead here. 2.25 left in the game. Yeah, as Forster has it. Forster down the court. Collinmore back to Forster. Forster with the deep three. That's no good. Rebounded by Cathedral, but no go central ball. Two ten left to go in the game. Central desperately needs some points on the board right now. McCray 
back to Brantley. Brantley inside to Morris. Morris will travel again. Good effort by Morris. That's his second traveling call in the last minute. Central crowd doesn't like it. Cathedral will inbound right now with 153 to go in the game. Uh, 21 to Callahan. Callahan to Reynolds, back to Forster. And Cathedral calls a timeout with 137 left to go in the game. Cathedral by 10, 49 to 30. Central's, you know, they're attacking, <clears throat> they're attacking the rim, but shots aren't going in, and they're getting called for traveling. And Cathedral on the other end getting, getting their buckets to go in. So now that's why they're up by 10. Let's see if it can continue. Key is for Central is to get good looks and not get penalized for it. So coming out of the timeout, Cathedral inbound. Calmward inbound here. Gets to Callahan on over. Over his head, over the head goes the ball. So it'll be Central's ball. Central able to break the press here as McCray has it. Almost turned over. Yes, to Harrison inside to Morris. Morris up and no good. But draws the foul. Callahan picks up the personal for Cathedral. So Morris will go to the line with 125 left in the game. Shooting two. Makes it first. And doesn't make a second. Cathedral rebounds. Forced off the court, gets it to Collimore. Number 21. Collimore. Collimore inside, gets the Reynolds. Reynolds. Bucket and the foul. Wow. Good effort by Reynolds. Central coaches fired up. Coach Denson. As Reynolds makes the free throw attempt to complete the three point play. Cathedral up by 12, 52, 40 with under a minute to go and they grab the ball back. But Central retains possession after that. Central will just throw it away and it'll be Cathedral's ball yet again with 50.1 seconds remaining. Well, Cathedral has their largest lead of the night, up by 12. And a couple of sloppy plays here. Yeah, Chris. both by Cathedral. 
couple Hail Marys going, well, not even, just going across the court. The ball's just, inbound pass is just going out of bounds. Central looking to get grab some quick points here as Presley no good on the three-point attempt. Rebound goes to Cathedral. And a questionable call here. Is that a half-court violation? Half-court violation is called. I'm sorry, backcourt. Backcourt. So it'll be Central's ball, but the Cathedral coach was questioning it because as Stahovic with the three-pointer. Cathedral looking to kill the clock here. So number 21 to go to the free throw line to shoot two. like they're going to pull away with this win here. 7.1 seconds to go. Clock, just doesn't, clock just doesn't want to run out. <laughs> no, it doesn't. As Cathedral has an 11 point lead with 7 seconds to go. So yet again, Cathedral will beat Central. As McCray shoots a three point attempt, that's no good. Rebounded by Cathedral and that should do it. Final score in this one. Cathedral 54, Central 43. Chris, your final thoughts? Well, I think Cathedral controlled the tempo of the game, and they also controlled, uh, how, you know, less turnover. So in the end, uh, they had more points. Unfortunately for Central, they did have some good looks, but uh, just penalties such as traveling uh, and offensive fouls have uh, just took away points from them. So in the end, Cathedral comes out victorious. Well, thank you for tuning in to Springfield Hoops on Focus Springfield TV. For Chris Stone, Jose, Clint, I'm Nick O'Dell. Have a good night, everybody.